Hello and welcome. I occasionally run into a problem, or I have uh, run into a problem, where I've got a rotated rectangle such as this one, and I know I uh, created it as uh, I think it was 30 by 60 millimeters, but uh, I've rotated it. It might be part of a more complex diagram. I don't want to uh, lie it flat on any side, but I do want to change the dimensions. How do I do that? Well. I've uh, tried different uh, ways, but uh, there's one that's uh, really obvious and that I'd overlooked. And that is if it's still a rectangle, you can hit R for the rectangle tool and the dimensions appear up here. You can just simply change them. So if I wanted to change this to 50, the height, and enter, and there, there we go. So it was staring me in the face and I just uh, didn't realise the control Z. Of course, uh, if it's uh, not a rectangle, I'll convert it to a path by going path object to path and now if I hit R you know, this is greyed out and I can't uh, do anything about it that's just uh, when I hit R it's re reporting the last rectangle but this is no longer a rectangle it's a path so what I would do then is I'd drag from the ruler drag a guide snap it to this corner here make sure you've got snapping of cusp nodes on click again and then drag the center of rotation to this point here now it's not snapping so I'll hit this icon here to snap rotation centers now it's snapping and drag one of these corners until it snaps there and there you can see if I click on it again there's the 60 width and the height is 30 and then you can change it say to 50 whatever and but then you'll have to uh, rotate it again back to to where you wanted it it's snapping I'll turn off snapping snapping all over the place so there's one way around it if it's not a rectangle, but if it is a, is a rectangle, you just uh, hit R and change dimensions directly. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.